Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at translating and solving English sentences into algebraic equations with a focus on consecutive integer problems. Now, before we get started on that, what exactly are consecutive integers? Consecutive integers are integers in which one is right after the other. So if I said 7, the next consecutive integer would be 8. If I said negative 20, the next consecutive integer would be negative 19. Did you think I was going to say negative 21? Be careful. We always, the next integer will be the one bigger than it, and negative 19 is bigger than negative 20. If we want to find two consecutive integers, if we want to represent them algebraically, we would call the first one x, and the second one would be x plus 1. So that way, no matter what I plug in for x, I'm always getting the number that also comes right after it. Those would be our consecutive integers. If it asks for three consecutive integers, so it would be like 7, 8, and 9, negative 20, negative 19, negative 18, we would represent the first one with x, the next one with x plus 1, and then what's the relationship between the biggest and the smallest? It would be x plus 2, right? 9 is 2 bigger than 7, negative 18 is 2 bigger than negative 20, so that's how we would represent three consecutive integers. Questions might also ask for consecutive odd or consecutive even integers as well. What that would be, two consecutive odd numbers would be 7 and then 9, negative 19, then negative 17. Two consecutive even integers would be 8 and 10, or negative 20 and negative 18. How do we represent consecutive odd integers? Well, if we call the first one x or whatever variable you choose, the next one would be how far away from it? So 7 and then the next one would be 9. Well, 9 would be 7 plus 2. Negative 19 to negative 17. Negative 17 is negative 19 plus 2. So to find the next odd integer, we would add 2. For consecutive even integers, if we call the first one x, so that would be 8, then 10, that's 8 plus 2. So this would be x plus 2. If we had negative 20, the next one would be negative 18, which is negative 20 plus 2. So even though we're talking about two different types here, whether it's consecutive odd integers or consecutive even integers, we represent them with x and x plus 2. And I know I've had students in the past get really tripped up by the fact that the odd numbers are, you know, x plus 2. But it's true, odd numbers are 2 away from each other. 1 is 2 away from 3, which is 2 away from 5. So even though it says odd, this is what we would do to represent our consecutive odd integers. All right, let's look at some examples. The sum of two consecutive integers is 39. What are the integers? Now we're going to look at this algebraically as opposed to guess and check, which would also be fine here, but we want to look at the algebra behind it. It says the sum of two consecutive integers. So sum means we're adding the two things. And we're what two things are we adding? Consecutive integers. So if I call the first one x, the second one would be x plus 1. So it says the sum of these, we're going to add these two numbers together. So my first number is x, my second number is x plus 1, and the sum of these is equal to 39. So now we have our algebra equation. Let's solve it. x plus x is 2x. I also want to subtract 1 from both sides. This gives me 2x is equal to 38. To get x by itself, I will divide both sides by 2, giving me x is equal to 19. So if the first number is 19, then the next consecutive integer is 20. So we have 19 and 20. And of course, I can check my work because if I add 19 plus 20, does that add up to 39? Yes, it does. So I feel very good that those are the correct consecutive integers. How about here? The sum of two even consecutive integers, really the even should probably come after, but that's okay. Even consecutive integers is negative 70, and we want to find these two numbers. So again, we're talking about a sum, and we're adding these two things. We're adding these two consecutive even integers. So I can call the first integer x, and then the next integer would be, remember, the next even integer, excuse me, the next even integer would be x plus 2. So when I go to set up this equation, I'm going to have my first even integer plus my second even integer, and together these add up to negative 70. Now I'm ready to solve. So x plus x is 2x. I can subtract 2 from both sides. I end up with negative 72. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to negative 36. So I have my first consecutive even integer is negative 36. I'm happy that it's even. I feel like that's a good sign. What's the very next consecutive even integer? 
Remember, this is negative, so we're going, it's going to look like we're going down, but really negative 34 is bigger than negative 36. And of course, we can check our work. If we add these up, negative 36 plus negative 34, does that add up to negative 70? Yes, it does. I feel very good about those two numbers. Okay, in this example, we have 8 less than the sum of two consecutive odd numbers is 156. Now, by the fact that I say odd, that implies that it, they, they are integers, in fact, because only integers can, can be even or odd. So I didn't specify it here, but it's true. Okay, so we have 8 less than. What does 8 less than mean? That means that we're taking 8 away from something. What are we taking 8 away from? We're taking 8 away from this sum here. The sum includes two consecutive odd numbers. So to represent our odd numbers, I'm going to call the first one x, and remember what the next one is, x plus 2. We want to add these together, so that's going to be our first odd integer plus x plus 2, and then it says 8 less than that, so it's going to be this thing minus 8. Now, I don't really need those parentheses that was just for emphasis that that's the thing that we're subtracting 8 from, but of course removing them will do nothing to change this problem. And all of this is equal to 156. Now we're ready to clean this up. We have x plus x, which is 2x. 2 and negative 8 makes negative 6, and that equals 156. I'm going to add 6 to both sides to get the 2x by itself. We get 2x is equal to 162. Divide both sides by 2, and we end up with x is equal to 81. So my first consecutive odd number, I like that this is an odd number, is 81. The next one, right, we can go up here, we have 81. This one will be 81 plus 2, which is 83. And of course, we can double check this. So does 81 plus 83, the sum of these, less 8, take away 8, this would be 164. 164 minus 8 is 156, which is what we were looking for. Yay! So these are our two consecutive odd integers. In our final example, we have 12 more than the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 108, and we want to find these numbers. Okay, so first we have 12 more than, so that implies that we're adding 12 onto something. What are we adding 12 onto? We're adding 12 onto the sum of three consecutive even integers. So in this case, if my first consecutive even integer is x, the next one will be x plus 2, but what's the one after that? Well, if we have 8, 10, 12, how does 12 compare to 8? 12 is 4 more than 8, so that would be x plus 4, and that was just one example, right? If you want to double check, what if we did 100, 102, and 104? Yep, 104 is 4 more than that first one. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, so we want the sum of those three numbers. That's going to be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4, and then we're adding 12 onto that, plus 12. And last time I put the parentheses, that's totally optional. That's just to really emphasize that there's the sum, and then we're adding 12 onto that, equals 108. Let's combine like terms. I have x plus x plus x. That's 3x. Then I have 2 plus 4 plus 12 is 18, equals 108. And we're ready to solve. Subtract 18 from both sides. We get 3x is equal to 90. I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and we end up with x equals 30, which is even. Hooray! So if my first even consecutive integer is 30, the next one is 32, and the last one is 34. I want to know that I have the right answer. I like knowing that I have the right answer, so let's add these up and see if 12 more than them is 108. 30 plus 32 is 62. 62 plus 34, that would be 96. And 12 more than that is 108. Hooray! These would be our three consecutive even numbers. These have been examples involving consecutive integers. Thank you so much for stopping by.